I have with me, proudly, my daughter who's also a therapist. We worked together for many years. She also sees uh, people in, in uh, we have an office together. And uh, she's come here to help me and give us some of her great wisdom as well. I'll ask somebody some questions and help them as best as I can and then set an appointment to be with them and further explore what they need to help them. And for me, if I set an appointment, <laughs> that's my word, that's Iron my plan. time. You are, you are there. I'm there yeah. and, and I'm very respectful of other people's time. And I find that that's not the norm. And I find it a little frustrating. No, that's that's very frustrating because here you are trying to help people and give of yourself. And I think the the issue is is that we, you, are an honest person and we expect honesty right. from Absolutely. those around right. us. Right. Absolutely. We expect yeah. people right, we expect people to automatically be honest. And the, the fact is is that people telegraph and they tell you who they are. And the key is to listen to them and understand that. So for example, somebody says, you know, you're you're meeting someone, okay, I set the time, I'm gonna be here, you know, ten o'clock. And they you call them, they're twenty minutes late. And you and they say, Oh, we'll be there, we'll be there, we'll be there. But you know that they're sitting in their car and they just left their house. Right. So the question is, so what you now need to do is you need to know that. You need to expect it. You know, next time you meet with them, take them who they are. They've told you. They've told you that they are someone who runs late. They told you they're maybe they're delayed. So ask that up front. Like, or you, you is, understand this, time, it. is yeah. this time really good for you yeah. or do you need to be 20 minutes later? And take them at, at who they are, at their face value. We need to remember to people teach us who they are and we're too good right. nature that we want to let it slip by. Remember, un people tell you who they are and until they, they say something different, trust them to be who they have told you they are. All right, I'm Esther, a psychotherapist, and we're here with Nora today at the farmer's market and looking to give you some help and some guidance. So what's, what's been going on? Well, I'm a four-year survivor of breast cancer, and the challenge is always how to stay positive, even when there are some negative things coming by. I think this is a challenge for a lot of people. I mean, uh, staying positive is one of the hardest things. And, you know, surviving breast cancer, you know more than anyone that that's a challenge.